Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Nicholas here. Um, just making a quick video. Haven't made a video in quite a little while because it's been crazy busy. You know, going into high school, it's gonna be pretty crazy and stuff. So, um, other also, I've had a ton of babies been hatching. I think I have like eleven now. So uh, I'll be making a video on that soon. But just been really busy. So I wanted to make a quick video telling, showing you guys uh, some feeders I just ordered from Mulberry Farms. So I'll show you that right now. So I just got a package in the mail the other day, today I think, and um, yeah, I'm just going to open it up and show you guys what I got, pretty much. Ooh, wow, crazy. Alright, all right. first off, you guys probably know Mulberry Farms, they specialize in silkworms, so I got, five hundred. I think it's 500 small superworms. Yeah, so pretty much it just says directions and stuff, how to take care of them on the back. And I'm fortunate enough, my school has mulberry trees, so I'm going to be picking some of those leaves and giving it to them. So these are really good for reptiles, though. Really nutritious. They're really small, but they get like, they get pretty big. Like they get about an inch long or something. I've seen, I've had them when they were adults, and they're just really good for them and stuff. So, wow, this is small. Cool. So, we got that, we got, we got 200 wax worms, just for fattening up some of the uh, female upper geckos and stuff that have been breeding, and just for um, getting some of those babies nice and fattened up, same, the silk worms, they're for some of the babies too. Ooh, wow, I did not know they would be this small, this is cool. I got some, let's see. How many are there? I think there's like supposed to be like 30 or so in here. You can't even see them. They're so small. They're uh, baby hornworms. They're like pretty much big green caterpillars with like horns on their butts, pretty much. But and they get really big too. They get about the size of a silkworm, and they eat they eat tomato plants. But these are really small. You guys see little green things. It's cool. So I'm just gonna be. Pretty much gut loading them, letting them eat on this for a little while, and then once they get a little bigger, I'm gonna feed them to some of the babies and stuff, and just to get a variety in the diet with the beardies and everything. So, and then we've got another order of hornworms, same thing pretty much. Then we got the good stuff, the essentials. Got your thousand mealworms. Man, yeah, it's always fun to put your hand on them. That's creepy. So you got a thousand mealworms in here. A thousand more mealworms. And you guys know I breed my own mealworms, but just you know, I don't wanna I don't want if I took care of all my reptiles and with my colony and my colony would go right away, so I just wanted to kind of enforce these. Um, my colony, I let them just, I, I keep them warm and so they breed and stuff. But these I'm actually going to keep in the fridge so they don't turn into beetles and stuff. And then here we've got thousands of small superworms. So these are like probably about the size of a large mealworm right now. Um, or just like a medium mealworm, but, but they're superworms. So that means that's good because that means they still need to grow. But like they're so small right now, I can actually give them to my babies. The baby leopard geckos. So... Um, and then they have a little to grow, so they're not going to die or anything, so that's good. I always, if you're going to, if you're going to, um, buy feeders, especially online, always get, like, a small, a smaller size, because they're going to grow, and then if you get, like, adults, a lot of them are going to die on the way, so. And then we just got this little form that says my order and stuff. Yep, just everything I ordered pretty much, so. Uh, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, I'll make a video of these guys set up, or I probably won't. I'm probably just saying that. But one of these days, I'm going to make a video, and I'll show you guys my new feeder rack I got. And um, it's really cool. I'm going to be putting these guys in there, and we'll get them going so we can feed them to the reptiles. So thanks to Mulberry Farms. I'd recommend buying from them. Great quality feeder insects. The only bad thing is the price. That Those right there, just all of them cost me 100 bucks with shipping. So... Not the best price, but 
it's pretty much the average price you're going to get when you're ordering them. So I would recommend them, especially for the ex more exotic stuff like the hornworms and the silkworms. But mealworms you can just pretty much get anywhere. But cool guys. Well, thanks for watching, and um, then we we'll making some more videos, some updates soon. Um, summer's coming up too, so you'll can, you can expect a lot more videos from me coming up. At end of June, I think, is when summer starts, so that'll be cool. So if you guys have any video requests, send them to me. And till then, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Out.